is no doubt about it that it's easier to be a Christian when things are going well. Easier to talk about your Savior, to praise the Lord, to talk about all the wonderful things that are happening in your life, if the wonderful things are actually happening. You know, when there's, there's no potholes ahead of you on the road, there's no black hole in which to sink, when the world is spinning in the right direction, that's when we find it easy to say, Hallelujah, I'm a Christian, praise the Lord. But you know, when things get tough, when suddenly there are stumbling blocks in your way, when the world seems to be spinning out of control, when you feel things closing in on you and stress and chaos all around you, then the Christian walk and talk is not quite so easy. In the midst of it all, of what I call the dark valley, we often find it hard to connect with God. We are so centered on what's happening that we don't look beyond it to who is there. In the last six months or so, I've been going through a dark valley in my life, and I'd like to share it with you. A few months ago, my husband Gerald began to lose his mobility. And it was very gradual, and I really didn't worry about it too much. He is older than I am, and I'm no spring chicken. But he couldn't stand easily, and he, he seemed to need to hang on as he walked, and he stumbled frequently. And I began to be a little concerned. And then one day he fell. And it was quite a job getting him up. And a few days later, he fell again. And I knew that I was in the dark valley. Now, we had just bought, two years previously, a little house, a little cottagey house that I loved beyond belief. And I had worked in the gardens, and we had done a lot of work in the house, and we'd said to each other, that's it. This is our forever house. We're not moving again. But to get into my house, you have to go up 18 steps. Not 18 steps in a row, in which case I would have just gone out and got one of those chairlift things and up we go, but 18 steps graduated over several landings. Impossible to deal with if you're going to do a chairlift. So I called a contractor and said, well, I need some kind of, of pathway built up, some kind of ramp. So he measured and he said, you will need 86 feet of ramp, three scissors. Now I cannot push a wheelchair up 86 feet of ramp around three scissors. And I knew we were going to have to move. And I didn't want to move. I really, really didn't want to move. And I felt anger and resentment. But God is so gracious. I found a little house, a little further down from where we live now, same neighborhood, same friends. And it was handicapped accessible. It was all on one level. The doorways were wide enough. The, the hallways were wide enough. But, oh, it needed so much work. And the garden was a ruin. And I thought back to my lovely garden with the fish pond and the fish. And I was angry. And all along, I'm smiling and saying, no, it's fine, it's fine. These things happen. But inside, I was angry that God had allowed this to happen to me. And I didn't know where he was. I couldn't find God. I, I didn't feel the presence. I didn't feel the love. I just felt as if I were walking in a bubble in a dark valley. And then one day, I went over to the house, and I thought I'd poke around the garden in the, in the new place. And it was all overgrown with ivy. So I was tearing out the ivy and muttering under my breath, and I don't know why I'm done. And all of a sudden, I saw some color. And I pushed it aside, and there was a little plaque embedded in one of the flower pots, and it said, Jesus sees you, and he loves you. Jesus sees you, and he loves you. Well, you know, I wept. I think anyone would have. It was a direct word from my Savior saying, I know, I know that you're in the dark valley. I see you, and I love you. And I realize that's so true for all of us as we go through the dark valleys of our lives. Death and illness and disappointment and things that happen that we didn't expect and our world being turned around and falling down into a dark hole of despair. Whatever your dark valley is, 
you are not alone. We're promised that in the 23rd Psalm, but even more so, we're promised that by the resurrected Lord. Jesus sees you, and he loves you. Jesus sees your pain, and he loves you. Jesus sees your anguish, and he loves you. Jesus sees your anger, and he loves you. Jesus sees your dark valley. He sees every big rock. He sees every dark rut. He sees all of the horrible things that are happening around you, the monsters lurking in the shadows, the storms coming down the valley. He sees all of it, and he loves you. He is there. Now I'll admit to you that my valley is still pretty dark, but it's all right. Because every time I feel myself beginning to fall and wonder where God is, I remind myself, Jesus sees you and he loves you. That's what we're going to talk about this month. How to get through the dark valleys of life. How to rise above those negative emotions that drag us down and find our Lord is right there with us all the time.